Welcome back to Tashkid Effects for another amazing video and in this video I'll be giving you a step by step guide on how to make a deposit to your Deriv account using your M-Pesa account and also withdraw your profits from your Deriv account to your M-Pesa account and before I start the video let me show you some other additional materials that I have for you where you can see that I have a free guide ebook on how to trade the forex market and all you need to do is use your email address to create a Deriv account and once you do that using the link that I have in the description box you can then claim your book and from there you can get a guide on how to trade the forex market and I also have other additional materials like how to use multipliers and such and such materials so make sure that you check out my description box for such materials which I believe will be of much help to you and getting back to Deriv so that I can show you how to make a deposit to your Deriv account using your M-Pesa to do that you first need a Deriv account so I hope by now you have a Deriv account and if you don't make sure that you use the link in the description box to create your own account as a way of also supporting me and to get to the deposit page you just tap on the cashier option once you tap on the cashier option you can see there are multiple ways you can make a deposit like the first one using bank wires and also deposits using cryptocurrencies but for me I'll be using the Deriv P2P and for those that will be using this Deriv P2P for the first time you'll be prompted once you tap on the Deriv P2P you will be prompted to create your Deriv P2P profile where you key in the Deriv P2P nickname that you want to be using and also make sure that you have verified your account for you to be able to access the Deriv P2P page and once you have done that this is the page where you make your deposit and over here you can see I have the buy and the sell option so you have the buy tab and also the sell tab and when you use the sell tab this is when you want to make a deposit to your account and on this account I have zero USD as you can see from up here and I want to make sure that by the end of this video I have some money in this account so I tap on the buy option because I want to buy some dollars and you can see there are advertisers over here that is the crypto merchants who you can buy from where you can see their nickname and also the number of trades that they have done and the very first thing before you make a deposit you need to take a look at uh, the profile of the person that you want to make your transaction with and for me I'll be using Teshkid because I'm also a merchant here on the Riv so I just tap on my ad over here which is right here where you can see my name that is the nickname that I'm using you can also see whether I'm online you can see I was online three minutes ago and now I'm online I also joined uh, the Riv P727 days you can also see my rating and the number of people that have given me that rating you can also see my buy completion rate and also the sell completion rate for the last 30 days you can also see the amount that I've traded in the last 30 days and also the amount of time that I take to release the money once you make a sell order and also the number of partners that I have have participated with me in making their transactions so those are the basic things that you first look at before you make a transaction on the advertisers page you can also get to see the number of trades that I have done in the last 30 days which is 100 plus I have also verified my address and also my ID and getting back to the a p2p page so that we can make a deposit and here on the p2p page before you make your transaction you also need to take a look at the limits you also need to take a look at the rates at which you'll be exchanging the kenya shillings to the dollar and the final factor that you need to take a look at is the payment method for those that want to transact using the bank you can select a suitable merchant who has added a bank transfer as one of the means of payment here on the Riv and for me I'll be using Teshkid Ian and I just need to tap on the buy option where you can see the minimum limit is $42.35 and that is the amount that I want to buy then I tap on the confirm option once you do that here on this page you can see the amount that you are supposed to, to pay to this uh, merchant you can also see the amount of time that you are supposed to take for the transaction to be a success you need to take uh, that is one hour 
for this transaction to be a success with no complaints you can also see the seller's nickname the seller's real name the amount that you're supposed to send and also the amount that you're supposed to receive and also the rate at which you're exchanging the kenya shillings to the dollar the time and to make the payment i just get down here to the seller's payment details i just expand on that where you can see i can see the number that i'm supposed to send the money to and down there make sure that you read through the seller's instructions then once you have done that make sure that you copy the number then go to your mpesa account or maybe your bank account and make the transfer once you have done that come here and tap on the i have made the transfer and tap yes i have made the payment then you confirm and once you have done that give the other party a few minutes so that the money can be released to your account after waiting for a few minutes you can see that the money has now been sent to my account and i have now received the amount that i bought on the p2p page and that's how easy you make a deposit here on the reef using your mpesa and you can also give the feedback in case the merchant is so fast you can give him a rating maybe a five star rating and then tap on done and now getting back to the second part of this tutorial which is to make a withdraw from your deriv account to your back to your mpesa account you just get back to the deriv p2p page where you have the buy and sell and then tap on the sell option where you can see the merchants who can make a deposit to your mpesa account and once that is done then you can release the money that you have in your account to the mpesa account and for me i'll be using teshkid ian for to make that transaction so you need to search for a suitable merchant here on your derive account basing it on the factors that i have shown you the limits the exchange rates and also the means of payment that you want to use and you can also check whether the merchant is online and it is always advisable for you to use a merchant who is online because that always ensures that the transaction is fast and for you to make a withdraw back to your mpesa account you just tap on the sell option where you can see that down here i need to enter the amount that i want to sell to this merchant maybe and the limit here is 40 to 42 dollars and i can sell a maximum of 42 point three five dollars and once i have done that i need to tap on this icon which is right here and this is for those that have used uh, the p2p once more for those that will be using it for the first time you'll be prompted to enter your payment method maybe your mpesa or, or maybe your bank details once you have done that then down there you need to enter your contact details maybe your phone number so i can key in my phone number over here and maybe give some instructions call in case of delays you can type that message down there and once you have done that you now need to tap on the confirm option and you can see once you tap on the confirm option the money leaves your account and it's deposited into a separate account which is called an escrow and that ensures the safety of the money during the transaction and the next thing that you need to do is make sure that this seller has made a deposit to your mpesa account or maybe your bank account before releasing the money and once the payment is made uh, down here on this page you should see the payment i have received the payment tab down here automatically appear and once the payment is made you just need to tap on it where you can see that you'll be receiving an email address just to confirm that you are the one of the rising the transaction and also confirm to release the money to the other party so i need to go back now to my email account then i refresh it where you can see i have received an email from the Rive which says confirm your order and that is after the payment has been received so don't confirm in case you have not received the money because in case that happens then there are chances of losing your money and you just need to tap on the confirm option once the money has been received where you can see that you are redirected back to your derive account and on this page you can see that please ensure that you have received the amount of money in your account and hit the confirm to complete the transaction so make sure that you don't hit the confirm option without receiving the money because there are chances that increases the chances of losing your money so once the money has been sent i just need to tap on the confirm option and once that happens the money leaves the escrow account and then the money is deposited into the other party's account and once you have done that then you can now 
now read the transaction and that's how you make a deposit and also withdraw your money from your derive account and before i finish this video make sure that you check out these additional materials that is this free ebook that i have over here and i'll be making sure that i leave a link in the description box so make sure that you check out my description box and if you like the video make sure that you give me a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership